Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. If you've been in an ambulance before or been in a hospital setting as a patient, then I'm sure you've had one of these attached to your finger. This is a pulse ox. And what it does is it measures the amount of oxygen attached to your hemoglobin in your bloodstream and gives it out as a percentage. In simple terms, it has two beams of light that come out one side, go through your finger, and is measured on the other side of your finger and given out as a percentage. Now, between 95 and 100% O2 saturation is completely normal for the average patient. Now, that knowing that 95% to 100% is completely normal for the average patient, you can see that mine is 98% right now, and my pulse is close to 90, 88, 90 beats per minute. There are a few times when this will give an inaccurate reading. If the patient hands are cold, uh, it gives an inaccurate reading. If they have dark fingernail polish on, it'll give an inaccurate reading. If they're in shock, meaning that they're not perfusing very well, this will also give an inaccurate reading. Also, another thing to remember too, if you're dealing with someone who's been in a house fire, whether that be a firefighter or a victim, that carbon monoxide also attaches to hemoglobin, it attaches quite well to the hemoglobin. So this device does not have the ability to measure the difference between what is oxygen and what is carbon monoxide. So if you have someone who's beet red that's been in a house fire, you actually may be reading the amount of carbon monoxide attached to their hemoglobin, not necessarily the oxygen level. For my healthcare providers out there or people that are looking to get in the healthcare field, Please remember this is just the machine, okay? Treat the patient, not necessarily the machine. If your patient looks short of breath, give them oxygen. It doesn't matter if their initial O2 sat is 96, 97% on room air. If your patient is complaining of shortness of breath or they look short of breath, give them oxygen. Treat them patient, not the machine. I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder.